Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to work on a short algorithm where we are given with two strings and we need to determine whether the first string is a subsequence of the second string. That sounds interesting to me. Hope you enjoy the video guys. Let's move to the board. <coughs> Excuse me. So we've got the problem 392 on lead code which is called E subsequence. And the question states given two strings S and T return true if S is a subsequence of T or false otherwise. Sweet. I've got two test cases here for you. And uh, we can see quickly that the first one, let me grab the pen, the first one returns true because we can see that A, B and C are part of the string T and at the same time they are in the correct order. So that means that S is a subsequence of T. Cool. And uh, here we've got the test case number two where we have that string and we need to determine if it is a subsequence of the string T. And if we go letter by letter, we can see A is present. However, when we move to X, there is no X here. So S is not a subsequence of T. Sweet. Uh, something that I need to mention here is if we have the string A, C, B, that wouldn't be a subsequence of the string T because we, can, we don't have A, C and B in the string T in the correct order. We have only A, B, C. Sweet. All right. Now, how are we going to, do, to work on it algorithmically? Uh, so what I'm thinking to do is to create two pointers. The first pointer, let me go down here and I'm going to rewrite for you this example. So we have A, B, C and A, H, B, G, D and C. All right, let's change the color from here. Let's go for orange. Okay, so we have one pointer per string. So here is going to be the pointer S and here is going to be the pointer T. All right, and of course we are going to loop over the longer string, which is the string T. And as we loop over it, what we need to check is whether the character that the, point, the, the pointer T points to is equal with the character that the points S points to into the, point, the string S. And uh, if they are not, what we are going to do is we are going to move this pointer one position to the right. And of course, if they are not, again, one position to the right, etc, etc. However, if you see in that example, uh, the both characters of these strings uh, in the position 0 are equal. So that means that we can move this pointer one position to the right and at the same time this pointer one position to the right. And here when we do our comparison we can see that these two characters are not equal so I'm going just to move the pointer T one position to the right and right now we've got a match. So what we can do is move both pointers one position to the right. Like this one here, no match. One position to the right. No match. One position to the right. And we've got our match here. And uh, so we can return true. Sweet. Let's move to the liquid code website now and see how we can implement that algorithmically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to instantiate to, to create actually two pointers, the S pointer 
and set it up to zero because strings are index zero and the pointer t which is also initialized to zero cool and right now i'm going to loop over the string t so like that and at the same time we need to have another condition here in order to avoid having that in the loop where this pointer will not go out of bound of the string s Super. so now we need to check if we've got, if we've got a character by character match so if the s of s pointer is equal to the t of t pointer then as we said we need to move the pointer s one position to the right that means that we need to do s pointer plus plus just increment it uh, yeah and otherwise there's no otherwise actually every time we need to move the pointer t one position to the right so i'm just doing that right now and what we are going to return here is the, the condition s pointer is triple equal s dot length. So as you can understand, I have set up a condition where we check if the pointer s has actually reached the end of the string s. Because if that happens, that means that the string s is a subsequence of the string t. Super. Let's run this code. All right. And if we submit it, yeah, that works for me. Cheers. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you like that, give that a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. All right, catch you in the next one. Cheers.